Hi guys, I just wanted to put together a quick video on how I got XeSOAR to work in Condor 2 when using my Oculus Quest 2 VR goggles. I'm using VR desktop in order to show you what I'm doing on my desktop, but this application is not necessary in order to make this work. It's really easy, and I wanted to just show you how to go about doing that. The basic principle is that you need to open whatever applications you're going to be running in Condor 2 on your desktop first before incorporating them into your VR environment. So first we'll open XeSOAR on the desktop. Now this needs to be the desktop version of XeSOAR because there are other versions that were designed for other devices like mobile phones or other flight computers. You'll need to resize the window of XeSOAR on your desktop to be about the size that you want it in the cockpit in your VR goggles. One of the things you need to be aware of is that XeSOAR is very limited in its usefulness when using it in VR. There is no practical way to manipulate the controls in XeSOAR, which makes it almost impossible to change between the different screens that one sets up in XeSOAR. However, XeSOAR will automatically switch between a cruise page, a thermaling page, and a final glide page. So give some serious thought to this and carefully select the info boxes you would like in each of these pages and XeSOAR will automatically switch the pages for you during each of those phases of flight. There is a way to manipulate XeSOAR in flight by pressing the Oculus button, but it is quite cumbersome and awkward and it takes you out of the flight environment. You'll need to temporarily remove your VR goggles and make whatever changes you are wanting to make to XeSOAR on your desktop and then return to your flight environment in your VR goggles. Next we need to establish a way for Condor to communicate with XeSOAR. First we'll need to configure Condor. So you'll need to draw a V with your cursor on the screen of Condor. Then go to Configure, Devices, and then select from the list of devices, Edit one of the devices. You'll need to select Condor Soaring Simulator, Edit it, and then select your COM port. I'm using COM2. Next, you'll need to set up a virtual serial port for Condor to communicate with XeSOAR. For this, I'm using virtual serial port emulator because I found it to be the most reliable and easy to use of the various serial port emulators that I've tried. I'm using the 64-bit version. When you open it up, it'll mention that it is an unregistered version and ask if you want to purchase a license. Go ahead if you wish to, but it will work if you click no. It can be downloaded for free from the internet. Just Google virtual serial port emulator and go to their website. When it opens, you'll want to go to this little button with the red laser icon on it and click that to create the virtual serial port. This opens up another window for device type and it defaults to connector. Go ahead and click next. Then it will want you to select which COM port to use. Again, I'm using COM port 2. Next, we'll want to set up Condor. When it opens up, go to the Setup menu, and under the Options tab in the NMEA section, select COM2 again. Go ahead and close out of Condor now. Okay, we're back in the VR environment now, and we'll go ahead and open the Oculus Link. Now you'll notice that there's this bar on the bottom and you can grab it with the grab button on the controller and move it up and down but if you want to scroll you need to use your trigger button to move it left and right. You'll notice there's also a plus sign on the far right of it and you need to scroll over to it in order to get there. If you click on the plus sign a list will pop up of all of the open apps 
that you can include on the bar that are on your desktop. So we'll go ahead and click on Exesore. Now you'll notice that you can grab this window with your grab button on the controller and you can move it around, twist it, turn it, angle it down, angle it up, zoom it back out and back in with the little thumb joystick and essentially just manipulate it around in this environment. Now here I make a mistake. At this point you need to pin it in position but I neglected to do that here and I'll need to come back later on in the video and correct that mistake. Okay, now it's time to load Condor and we'll need to do that from the desktop. As you can see here, there's no XE SOAR window in my VR environment. So we'll push the Oculus button again and then we'll pin it this time, which should bring it into the Condor VR environment now. And there it is. Now I'm still not happy with the position or the size, so I'm going to go back and tweak it a little bit more to see if I can get it a little bit more so it's not obstructing the Condor PDA. Again, I'll need to click the Oculus button and make the necessary adjustments on my desktop. And there we have it, in a size and position that I'm happier with. I think it's time for us to get in the air. As you can see, it is possible to manipulate XCSOAR to some extent, but you have to leave your VR environment in order to do so, and that can be problematic while you're flying. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this will help some of you get XESOR up and running in your VR goggles. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. I need to give a special thanks to Bruce D who helped me through this process. He has a very good video on his YouTube channel about how to get XESOR up and running in an Oculus Rift. So go take a look at that one. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. So again, a quick summary. Get XESOR up and running on your desktop. Resize it to the size that you want. Get Virtual Serial Port Emulator up and running. Make sure they're all on the correct COM port, including Condor. Then activate the Oculus Link. Add XESOR to the bar. Position it where you want it in the cockpit. Don't forget to pin it in place. Then activate Condor from your desktop. Time to go flying. See you guys later. Thanks for joining me.